how beautiful it is mm. for this to be coming from a high chief <coughs> and a candidate in the 2023 governorship election Sabon. it's one of the best news i've had this year because uh, looking at the political actors the political gladiators in the state you know embracing peace is one thing that every reverse man should be very proud of because over time crisis entrepreneurs have taken advantage of the rift between the various political actors and i think they are beginning to understand that whatever they are doing they are standing in the interest of the state even the whoever is elected if you are vying for a political office one thing stands out what stands out is the fact that you are going to fly the mandate of the people so you must stand in the interest of the people so I like this. If the position is for peace, mm. and I like the peaceful disposition of some of the political actors, knowing that if they mismanage whatever political situation they find themselves, it will bring conflagration. They will light up a big flame, and the state will be at the brink, and that will be too dangerous for the people, mm. too dangerous for development. Remember, say it's a happy place. And in 2024, we expect that we should have a state that will be bubbling with prosperity. And prosperity cannot come without peace. Mm -hmm. This is our reverse for, for crying out loud. Totally agree. Yeah, yeah. The price of peace. The governor did say <coughs> uh, after the um, eight point pack, a uh, peace pact was yeah. released to the public, his first statement was that there's no price too, too, too high yeah. uh, to pay for the price of his people, River State. And then in his Christmas message, he hinted that that he doesn't see anything too, too, too much of a big deal that cannot be managed when it comes to the, the peace pact. However, Chief Dumo, Dumo Little Briggs now, if for, for, for peace and for prosperity of the state, has pulled back his case from the Supreme Court. And he then, while he was doing that in his New Year message, he called other worrying factors to shake their sword. How critical is it at this point in our policy that we begin to, considering the economic disposition of Nigeria right now and the Royal River State plays in that, for us to begin to think about peace as a way forward in all of this quagmire? You know, when fish begins to rot, it starts from it. The governor of the state, Sim Fubara, seems to have set the, the agenda for peace, peaceful resolution of the crisis. He may not have been the, uh, the cause of that crisis, but he was a factor in it. And he said, the worst peace is better than the best war and that was his quote you know i like that you know when you're in government you must radiate some level of wisdom i remember when um uh the former speaker the senate president chuba kadibu was talking about his former governor in anambra state he said the governor ended up his tenure without without uh, um infrastructure and without quotable quotes that will tell you the place of intellectual dispositions in any governance. That comment alone communicates, resonates a lot of impression. And it has made, made a lot of impression in the mind of most of the political actors. And they have picked it up from there. Mm -hmm. Rather than, so now it has set a pace. It has set an agenda. You saw that the, the Labour Party uh, candidate it or Beatrice it or withdrew. Yes, yes. We drew. And of course, Magnus Abbey had withdrawn long ago. Yes. And uh, the P uh, APC had also withdrawn their case, the remaining court. As a party. As a party. Mm -hmm. But the so, candidate yes. is still so, there. So there's a trend. And Duman Lulu Briggs, a respectable prince of uh, Calabari Kingdom, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, a business mongol, a politician, an amiable gentleman. Mm -hmm. We all knew him. All of us who grew up in Potako, so we knew ourselves. We all knew him here in Potako very gentleman and he has also taken the same route and that means that at the end of the day whatever becomes the outcome of the supreme court ruling by the end of january i think 25th or 25th yeah uh, june to 25th uh it will no longer be because the political actors uh did not want peace it will be because the law may have taken certain uh some level of uh, action as it were but I'm very optimistic that at the end of the day, Governor Fubara will have the right environment to govern this state. Because that is, that is what is at stake. I'm sure that answers your question. Yeah. He, will be on the, he will have the right environment because he needs the right environment for governance. With all these distractions, governance cannot... To, and he doesn't pay anybody. only pays the, the, the crisis entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs and yeah. those who create problems because they benefit from it. 